Sports First. PNC Sports First is brought to you by 76 Circle K. Half a day sports fans, how are you doing? Happy Friday. I'm Leo Payumo, and this is PNC Sports First. Well, it's going to be a busy, busy weekend in sports. Double I, double AG, high school track and field and paddling begin this weekend. But first, let's head over to the St. Paul's High School soccer field in Harmon yesterday afternoon for more double I, double AG girls high school soccer. The Warriors in their second game of the season taking on the visiting defending champs, the Notre Dame Royals and Royals let's go to the pitch Royals Lauren Phillips feeds it to Brianne Leon Guerrero and she kicked it through for the game's first goal Leon Guerrero the recent golden boot winner in the GFA Women's League now watch Andy's Carly Canata she scores but she, she uses her hand let's watch it again in slow mo and she did and it doesn't count but this one will Andy's Leon Guerrero this time feeds teammate Phillips and Phillips goes left side and it's going to be Good for the Royal second goal. St. Paul's did get many opportunities to score in this game, but they just couldn't find the back of the goal net. The Royals pull it out 2-0 with the win. Brianne Leongaro and Cheyenne Roberto talked about the tough Warrior team after the game. Very good players. We know a lot of them because we challenge them in other sports and um, Tiffany Lopez, we play with her in nationals. They worked really well together and played as a great team against us. I knew they were going to work really hard and try to get us. And we're kind of lucky um, for some of our chances that we had, but we just couldn't get it in. It's playoff time in the Budweiser Guahan Varsity Football Men's League as the semifinals takes place tomorrow at the University of Guam Field in Mihila. Last year's champions, the Eagles, are seeded number two and will battle the number three seed, the Outlaws, in the first game at 11 a.m. And the number one seed, the unbeaten Raiders, play the number four seed, the Chiefs, in the second game at 2 p.m. Admission is $3 for adults, $2 for kids, $5 per car load. Outside food and drinks are not allowed. Vendors will have food and drinks for sale. Chairs and canopies are welcome. And the Bud Light Golden Hoops Classic Spring 2018 Tournament kicks off this weekend. Coordinator Elsa Yajoa says it's time for players to get back on the court after a long break due to Tamooning Gym's renovations. Four games in the co-ed rec division tonight. Nova versus Savage in progress. Guam Windward Memorial versus Mr. Rubbishman at 6.30. ASC Trust versus Tamooning Typhoons at 7.30. And Haddock versus Savage at 8.30 p.m. Visit their website at guambasketball.com. And that takes care of your Friday sports. I'm heading over to cover the season's opener in double I, double AG girls and boys high school track and field for PNC Sports First. This is Guam sports guy, Leo Payumo. Have a safe weekend, Guam. PNC Sports First is brought to you by 76 Circle K.